a lot of times uh, the customer is really concerned about ROI. What are some uh, expected ROIs that they will they'll receive when they implement this technology? You know, first of all, I think I'd like to say that RFID is coming on now because I think we are finally getting the ecosystem put together. The, all of the things that it needs to have to thrive. And the business case for RFID can be driven by a number of different things. As he pointed out, if you've got a case of a thousand or even a hundred and you don't, and you need to have a positive confirmation that those products are there and you don't want to have to open the case, RFID is perfect. It's going to do it very quickly, uh, set it up right. It's going to keep you, you will have positive confirmation. Um, you also have um, some regulatory efforts that are coming down that are pushing things in. There's the drug, new Drug Control Act that's supposed to be coming online in the next year. There's the effort to track farm to table. And RFID has some definite roles to play in there because the barcode has its own limitations, including they can be obscured, they can be damaged, they, et cetera. Uh, the basic ROI is going to be moving things faster, more reliably, and complying with new standards and regulations, and that's going to be a lot cheaper than having people busting boxes open, opening up pallets in order right. to get all of the scanning. Of a lot of labor and a lot of room for error. Yeah, correct. And it all, again, it really kind of comes back to the use case. If you picture a high value item. Uh, designer clothes, handbags, shoes, if you embed an RFID tag into it, you can therefore do validation. So it is a valid product, it's not a, it's not a counterfeit. Mm -hmm. So that's for sale and or return, that kind of thing, and for resale later. So there's a lot of different things to it and kind of really does come back to the use case.